Hello everyone. My episode today, we're going to talk about Mothra in 1961. A one hour and 41 minute adventure fantasy. Released May 10th, 1962. Here's a storyline. An expedition to Infant Island discovers a native population and a tiny twin fairy priestesses of the island. Mothra sets out to rescue her fairies after they are kidnapped by a explosive businessman. Directed by Ichiro Honda. Well, folks, I've never seen the original Mothra back in 1961, and I love Mothra. I don't know what it is. So the story basically here is they go to this infant island, and they come across these two fairies. Natives, when they picked them up and natives were drumming, like, put, her, put them down, put them down, in that sense. So they do, and they leave and go back to Japan. But the one evil businessman, his crew, goes back to the island and kidnaps the two fairies for money. You know, to have a show showing these fairies. What they don't realize is they can telekinesis to Mothra. They can talk to Mothra. And uh, Mothra hatched. So the larva started swimming across the ocean to come and save these two girls. Of course, the military shooting at it, and you name it, da da da. It's not going to work. He comes on, she comes on land, obviously after a while she starts turning into Mothra. There's destruction, there's people dying, there's fires, and to understand that it was caused by this businessman who was greedy, named Nelson, so they tried to warn him, and he wouldn't listen. So eventually, Mothra turns into the moth. Fucking, I love that. I love Mothra. So, the end of the story here is, in order for the fighting to stop, give the fairies to, hit, to her, and she'll fly away. That's basically what happened. Eventually, Mothra got the two fairies back, and she left. So the moral story here is, greed will get you killed. So... Well put together film. I love this film. Back in 1961, it had two nominations. And, uh, yeah. So if you're a fan of Mothra, you never seen the original, very first movie of Mothra, definitely check it out. I really enjoyed it a lot. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this an 8 out of 10. It's a classic, classic, classic gem from 1961. This is Gruesome Herzog. And I'm out of here.